this is the main character, Ed. And this is the secondary main character, McQueen. Hi everyone, happy Webtoon Wednesday. Today I'm going to be talking about Walk on Water. This is from the same author that does Under the Green Light. Now, this was a really good Webtoon. This was a really good boy love. This is a yaoi romance, some drama a little bit. Definitely has smut in it, just to be clear. Now, our main character's name is Ed, and Ed has a huge amount of debt that he has to pay, and not to like a bank, but more like a loan shark, basically. When he was younger, he got hit by a car and messed up his ankle really bad, so his grandpa took out a loan for the surgery and the physical therapy. Now, his grandpa has died, so that loan goes on to Ed. Ed originally wanted to be like an action actor, but he is now a bodyguard. He's now a bodyguard. He doesn't necessarily make a ton of money and living in New York, your money is basically just flying out the window at this point to pay for rent and living expenses and whatnot. So when Ed is out with some buddies, he actually overhears people at the next table saying that they made a ton of money doing um, gay porn. And even though they're straight, they just went and did like one or two videos and they made like, you know, a couple thousand dollars and that was it. So Ed decides to um, look into it because he really needs the money. It's, he already paid off the loan but it's all the interest that has piled up that he really needs to pay off. So he does some research, he finds a porn site or a porn company in New York that he wants to work with. He contacts them, sends them some information, some pictures, and they want him to come in. Now through this, you get like the slow progression where he does like a solo video and then he is the top for two videos and then they want him to be bottom. Now McQueen, who is the secondary male character or the second main male character, whatever. He's like the owner. He's the producer, the CEO of the company. So he basically sits like the director. He like sits behind and he watches and he might narrate or, you know, give some suggestions or advice or whatever. So McQueen is just, now I wouldn't even say a friend. Originally, Ed doesn't really like him very much. He just kind of like, I don't know, they just kind of like butt heads or like Ed feels like they won't get along. Ed is straight, by the way. He's only been with women before doing this little endeavor, but the money is really good. He's making like five grand every time he goes and makes a video. So that's pretty good money that he's uh, making. But Ed is supposed to be doing a video with some other guy that I can't remember his name because there's a lot of other male characters in here that go in and out and I just don't remember his name. But he's supposed to be, Ed is supposed to be the bottom and this other guy is supposed to be top. And he, the top doesn't show because his flight was canceled because of all the rain. So instead of postponing it, McQueen decides that he's going to fill in for the other dude. Um, because they have subscribers and they have people who pay like monthly for it. And when they are having sex for the first time, it definitely is more like lovers having sex. And even Ed feels that when they're having sex, like even though they're being filmed and recorded, like nobody's giving pointers or really talking to them. It's more like they're, making love and in a way Ed is enjoying it but he also feels uncomfortable and he does feel some like guilt and ashamed and embarrassed but ultimately he enjoys it and even though like I said he's not gay he kind of has feelings for McQueen like McQueen's like a good looking dude so he's really confused through most of this and then he starts to get worried about people 
recognizing him when he's out and about and in public because that starts to happen. After the videos get released or uploaded, people start to recognize Ed. He, they don't know his real name because he's got a stage name, Tommy, but people approach him and like talk to him. He feels like people you know, are whispering or looking at him more. He's getting like a lot of insecurity because being gay, I don't know when this is technically based on, but you know, being gay hasn't always been so openly accepted. So it's like he knows that people are going to look down on him or treat him differently. So he's just kind of like hyper aware of the situation, the circumstances and what could ultimately happen to him if anyone finds out. He doesn't have any family, but he does have friends and coworkers. So he gets concerned after a certain point that somebody he knows is going to find out what happened. So on top of that, there are jealous lovers, kind of. I mean, I would consider one to be a jealous lover, even though later on it doesn't really turn out to be a jealous lover. Um, and then there is other people who want to be with Ed, but don't know how to express it well. And um, poor Ed does get raped in this webtoon, which is really sad. It was really sad. I did really like the webtoon though. I thought it was really well done. There is smut in a lot of it. And sometimes in some yaois or smut webtoons or mangas, there is no storyline behind it. And it kind of is just basically all sex. This one, however, has a really good storyline behind it. So it's not just all just people banging it out. You actually have some depth in the story, which I really appreciate. Thank you. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you take the time and read this if you have the opportunity. And yeah, that's it. Bye everyone.